You got a big boy, uh, bait ball? Yeah, buddy. No? Dude, put it on high and go after it. <laughs> Don't f*** this up. <laughs> Dude, that's got to be 15 plus, maybe 20. No, not not 20. That's got to be somewhere in 12 to 15 pounds. Yeah, that's heavy, dude. Uh... That's ridiculous. Uh... Uh... Dude. <laughs> That's something else. I've caught some pretty big ones up here before, but not that big. And morning. That's how we start the day. Champlain, my buddy DJ, my buddy uh, Alex, and uh, we're actually up in Button Barrier. And as soon as we get here, DJ drops troll motor. He's like, oh, dude, I'm marking a ton of fish. He drops down and thump, 13 pound freaking drum. Hey, speaking of fish, I'm marking them. This is my first time I've ever been to Champlain. I'm kind of helping him scout smallmouth water for his upcoming tournament because he's generally like a shallow water largey guy. That's pretty much it. Hopefully, I just catch some fish. I'm not really looking to like light the place up today. I mean, hey, if I do, I'm not going to complain. But I'll just be happy to catch a few fish more than anything. I'm just happy to finally be up on Champlain. I've never been here. I've been dying to get up here forever. He Text me yesterday, want to go to Champlain? Yeah, yeah, I do. There we go. Jesus. Maybe, dude, that thing's mad. Ah, maybe not. Cracking a tube. Nope. Giant drum. <laughs> Wrong species. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eight pounds, six ounces. It's a new PB. <laughs> Holy bait ball. That's a big small. Dude! Come on. Maybe bigger. Oh, come on, you. Ha! Get in the boat. Whew! Ha! That was close. <laughs> We'll take that. <laughs> it's not even that big, but damn, what a fight. He's not that big. It's a nice fish, though. Not bad. Let's get a weight on her. Three and a half. Three and a half. Good start. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure just broke that off. That was a fish that whole time. Ouchtown, population you, bro. Buddy, this lake sucks. I do, and I can't catch them, man. I've been marking them all day. I've thrown every drop shot bait I've got. Two different Ned rigs. I've been throwing a tube. <sighs> How can an area full of so much good be so devoid of fish? <laughs> like, I would have expected at least a rat or two out of this. How much weight do you need for that? Wow. Biggest I got is half. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Brutal. And don't be scared because you're going to want to 
throw this thing like 50 feet in the air. Oh, straight. So if momentum to drive through? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, or else yeah. it's not going to drill. Even then. The key is to get through it, and it's a deep mat. So it's like eight foot, five to eight feet under this mat, which is makes it so good. So you're just working the edges or like getting right up against it and like going in like 10 feet and... A little bit of both. Okay. Start somewhere. So really no different than working any other... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> than working any other patch of weeds other than it's really thick. Looks like somebody had fun trying to drive through it. That was me. <laughs> Are you just working on the bottom, or are you bringing it up and banging it on the underside of this too? No, just like a jig, just drifting okay. it off of the bottom a couple times. It's kind of dependent on how the fish reacts too. Yep. Jig it up a couple times, once you get through, and then all of a sudden you're just like, well jam, just like. Yes. Buddy, I'm already getting a little stiff thinking about it. Or does it go lift up and it's like, yep. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, I'm going to need one of those weights. No My one ounce will not get through. No, no, no. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Watch, you're going to stop before you even touch me. Wait. Oh, you touched it. I was going to say, it's going to stop. <laughs> oh, my. For real? You just dropped that. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Check it. If it's a good toss, I will catch. All right, I'm going home. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything. No, dude. You catch it! It bounced off my knee. Dude, I am a mess lately. I can't do a thing right. Yes. Putting that in your hand I'm stuff. putting it down here. This whole rod stays in the boat. No line can go overboard. I can't believe. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> hey, I grabbed the hook. Oh, because I get hooked. Oh, dude. <laughs> there we go. I'll take that. Probably like two and a half. Hell yeah. First fish punching. He's cute! <laughs> Another one. I want to live here. I can't see it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get over here, you little bastard. That it did. Okay. No ex explanation necessary. Punching. Never done this before. It's the first time. Big thank you to DJ 3D Fishing on Instagram for the hookup with the weights, because <laughs> I'm clearly not equipped to be doing this. I started with two ounce and I lost that, and I also got his one and a half ounce. So one and a half ounce weight, 65 pound braid, little T rig craw, just punching it through. Get out of there. I'm not catching size, but I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, that wasn't this. 
get up here. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm tired. That's a good fish. Oh my god, I am screwing up. <sighs> Whew. That's a good one. <laughs> dude, I'm getting tired. Oh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, another chunky lad. I don't even know how many fish I caught, but this one area made my day worth it. Made the whole drive and everything worth the effort. Get another fish or two and call it a day. Because it has been a day. This is one of the two things that I've always wanted to do with coming up to Champlain. My buddy DJ's been telling me about this for years. So he's like, dude, you gotta come up. Big rod, braid, heavy weight. Punch it. I was like, I'll get up there, I'll get up there. And I finally did. And of course, we came up here looking for smallmouth to start the day. And that didn't pan out. And he's like, dude, let's just go punch the end of the day. I was like, all right. Confidence was in the pooper. And then uh, I got my first fish. I, not that I didn't have confidence doing this. Because this is you know pretty similar to what, I've, what I like doing for largemouth. But my confidence was just like not good because I'm also really confident about finding smallmouth. And I know this is not the end of the lake to look for smallmouth, but I still had high hopes that I could do it. Guess what? There's a reason why people said don't come down here for smallmouth. Uh, I don't know. Conditions certainly didn't play right for that, but dude, this is like it's a good way to end the day. Just jacking them up. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Barely felt it, but I said, I feel a bite. I'm gonna swing. <laughs> Poor guy. I don't know if that went through. Doesn't feel like it. Oh, yep. I have to look at that one. That's a good fish. I don't know if I can get him. Come on, troll motor, let's go. You can do it. So close. Not looking good for getting this fish in. So close, dude. Just give me a chance at it. There's a fish. It couldn't be any smaller. <laughs> but I got him. <laughs> How the hell did I get that thing out? Where are you? <laughs> Later, buddy, and thank you. Keep your souvenir. Whew! That hurt. Damn, that cut like a gouge in my hand. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun! That's where it's at. Three casts. I gotta stop or I'll never stop. Oh. That was it. I had it. I can't get him. Let it be known, I hooked one. <laughs> In the boat. You're mine. Don't be. In the boat. I did it. Literally my last cast. I missed them on the first of three. I said three more casts. Missed them on the first, nothing on the second. Got them on the last. 
<sighs> no, it's bad lighting. Sorry. You have to deal with it. That is a pretty friggin' awesome day. All right, all done. Lighting's a little off because it's getting really late in the day, but Champlain was evil to me at first, and then turnaround was very nice to me. Uh, end of the day, just pitching mats. All that stuff that you see, all the goodness. DJ's still there, you probably can't see him because of the lighting. It was, man, I, <laughs> he's been telling me to come over for years to do this, and I finally did it, and I'm so glad that I did because that was fun. 65 pound braid, big old heavy hook, just a regular craw, one and a half ounce weight, doesn't get any better than that. So I would say my christening for Champlain was pretty damn good. Could have been better, but it could always be better. So thank you all for watching, greatly appreciate it. Catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.